Good morning, dear students. Say, teacher, extend a warm welcome to all my dear students for today's lecture. Dear students, today we are going to learn a new topic. Twelve months in a year. So let's start. Twelve months in a year. Children, you must have seen calendar at home or school. There are twelve months in a year. Let's see them. Every year starts with the month of January. So January is the first month. January has thirty-one days in it. Then comes February. February is the second month. It has twenty-eight days. But twenty-nine days are there in a leap year. March is the third month. It has thirty-one days. Then comes April. April is the fourth month. April has thirty days. Then comes May. May is the fifth month. May has thirty-one days. June is the sixth month. It has thirty days. July is the seventh month. It has thirty-one days. August is the eighth month. It has thirty-one days. Then comes September. September is the ninth month. It has thirty days. Then comes October. October is the tenth month. It has thirty-one days. Then comes November. November is the eleventh month. It has thirty days. And December comes last. So December is the twelfth month and has thirty-one days. Twelve months in a year. Thirty days has September. April, June, and November. All the rest have thirty-one, except February alone. The year begins with the month of January and ends in December. Then a new year starts again in January. Now write the month which comes before and after. Which is the month before March? February. February month comes before March. Which is the month after March? April. April month comes after March. Which is the month before July? June. June month comes before July. Which is the month after July? August. August month comes after July. Months of the Indian solar year. Children, as we have studied months of the Gregorian year, now we will study months of the Indian solar year. As we have twelve months in Gregorian year. Indian solar year also has twelve months in a year. Let's see them. Chaitra month comes first. It has thirty or thirty-one days. Then comes Vaisha. Vaisha is the second month. It has thirty-one days. Jish is the third month. It has thirty-one days. Then comes Ashar. Ashar is the fourth month. Ashar. Has thirty-one days. Shravan is the fifth month. It has thirty-one days. Then comes Bhad. Bhad is the sixth month. Bhad has thirty-one days. If you have noticed carefully, you will see that all the other months have thirty-one days. Now comes the month of Ashwin. Ashwin is the seventh month. Ashwin has thirty days. Kartik is the eighth month. It has thirty days. Then comes Agrahayan. Agrahayan is the ninth month. Agrahayan has thirty days. Then comes 
Bosh. Bosh is the tenth month. Bosh has thirty days. Mar is the eleventh month. It has thirty days. And Palgun comes last. So Palgun is the twelfth month and has thirty days. Now write the month before and the month after. Which month comes before Bhadra? Shravan. Shravan comes before Bhadra. Which is the month after Bhadra? Ashwin. Ashwin month comes after Bhadra. Which is the month before Posh? Agrahyan. Agrahyan month comes before Posh. Which is the month after Posh? Mar. Mar month comes after Posh. In the calendar of the Indian solar year, how many months have 31 days? Can you tell? Chaitan, Vesha, Jish, Ashar, Shravan, and Bhadra. These months have 31 days. In the calendar of the Indian solar year, how many months are 30 days? Can you tell? Ashwin, Kartik, Agrahyan, Posh, Mar, and Palgu. These months have 30 days. Niyash, do you know which events will take place in our school in December? Yes, of course. It's given in our school calendar. Okay, now tell me, on which day is the drawing competition? Friday. And the sports competition? Thursday and Friday. It's your turn now. Which festival do we celebrate on 25th of December? Easy, it's Christmas. Okay then, I'll leave now. I have to get ready for the picnic tomorrow. Thank you dear children. We will meet in next video. Till that, take care. Bye.